What's up everyone? This is Sean Hatfield from Groove Studios. You're tuning in to our fourth lesson in the online rock guitar series. Today we're going to be doing something slightly different and we're going to be offering you five quick tips to help with your practice. Okay, so let's get started with the first one. So in the beginning it's easy to neglect your tuning because you don't have a trained ear for how the pitches of each string sound. So as a rule in the beginning, you should be tuning the guitar pretty much every time you pick it up. Generally, using a tuner is the best way to get the most accurate pitches from each string. So a clip-on tuner or something that you plug directly into is how you can get a really accurate sound. Alright, so tip number two is going to be keep the guitar somewhere that's easily accessible. If you spend a lot of time in your living room, keep it there. If you spend a lot of time in your bedroom, keep it there. But keep it on a stand that's open in the daytime. And maybe overnight put it in its case so it doesn't collect dust. Sometimes you might have a schedule where you only have five minutes to sit down between something and uh, you know work out some technique or a few scales. And uh, it's good to have it out of its case, in its stand, ready to rock, versus it might seem like a lot of work to get it out of your hard shell case or unzip it out of the gig bag and get it out and sit down, right? So tip number three is going to be give yourself some goals to work with. It's always great to have some goals with an instrument. So you want to have some short-term and some long-term goals. A good short-term goal for guitar is to maybe master the pentatonic scale. Um, let's say an, an A minor, an A minor pentatonic because we're only dealing with natural notes. There's no sharps and no flats. A good long-term goal would be to take that pentatonic scale, learn it in every position, and know what notes you're playing. So say you're doing the E flat pentatonic scale, knowing what each one of those notes are that you're playing is very important as well. Try not to give yourself vague goals, like I'd like to learn how to play G major. That could be the scale of G major, the chord G major, it could be a number of different things. So a good goal would be, I'd like to learn a chord progression in the key of G major. Tip number four is going to be to practice standing up and sitting down. Odds are that most of the time when you're at home practicing, you're sitting down. But in the real world, when we're playing with others or if we're performing, a lot of the times we are going to be standing up. So it's good to get that practice at home as well. Standing up can be generally tougher because we can't see the frets quite as easy as when we're sitting down. I can kind of look over and see. But that's when your, your dots up here on top of the fretboard or behind the neck just slightly. should have a couple dots there. Those can help you be physical landmarks along the neck here. Find a pick that works for you. I like to use Snarling Dog's brain picks because they have these little grips on them that, that let me hold on tight to them and I just like the way it feels on my fingers when I'm pinching the pick. Um, this is a pretty general shape too, just the sort of triangular typical guitar pick shape. Um, I have another type here. This is the jazz pick. Um, just another sort of famous pick that people like to use. Much smaller but still a triangle shape. Um, so find a pick that works for you. The thickness is generally what makes the difference. I don't like using a thin pick and hearing all the string sound that comes out of it. You get a real ticky sort of sound coming off your strings. Um, I like the, the thicker pick. I feel like it sticks in my, my fingers better. I'm not dropping it. I can feel the weight of it. So try out a couple different sizes and see what works best for you and your instrument. So we've given you five quick tips to help you with practicing and learning the guitar. Thanks for tuning in to this fourth lesson. We'll see you next week. Thanks.